mom's going to take us to the mall and lunch. Food and fashion? You can't go wrong. I wish I could, but I've got tons of homework. Well, if you finish early, you can find us. I will, though I've got my work cut out for me. Just figuring out this thing. How can I go out with my friends if I can't even use the bathroom on my own? Looks like I'll be doing all my shopping online and alone. A moment later at the Medi HQ. Medi kids, whoa, what's up guys? What's up is that you seem to need help understanding CIC and why it's so important. CIC is short for Clean Intermittent Catheterization. Intermittent means not all the time, but repeatedly. Like combing your hair or brushing your teeth. Catheterization means a tube called a catheter going into your bladder. See? Tubes. And you do it yourself. So, CIC means putting a tube into your bladder several times a day. CIC is needed to drain urine from your bladder. Kidneys take all the waste from your blood to make urine. Urine then travels down long, thin tubes called ureters to your bladder. We'll take you on a tour of Mediland to help explain all about this. For where we're going, I need to make your wheelchair fly. First off, the bladder. In the bladder. Ew, this is what I imagine the boys' bathroom smells like. As someone who lives with boys, I agree. Your bladder is like a balloon. It's small when empty, but as it fills with urine, it gets bigger and bigger. There's a strong muscle at the base of the bladder called a sphincter. It acts like a gate, keeping urine in. Oh dear, please don't let pee get on my dress. When your bladder's full, the sphincter relaxes to allow urine out so your bladder empties completely. The urine moves from your bladder through a tube called the urethra to leave your body as pee. This is what usually happens. There's still some pee here. Why isn't the sphincter relaxing? Sometimes the sphincter doesn't relax when it needs to, so the urine stays in your bladder. Things are getting a wee bit too tight in here. Let's change scenery. At the kidneys. <sighs> Glad to be out of... Uh, wait, this doesn't look much better. Nope, when your bladder gets too full, urine may be pushed back up to your kidneys, which can damage them. Sometimes urine forces its way down, making you pee when you're not expecting it. Also, if urine stays in the bladder too long, this can cause an infection. To stop these things from happening, your bladder needs to be emptied regularly. That's where CIC comes in. Let's take this conversation outside and away from pools of pee and smoking kidneys. On Mediland's stomach. Whew, this is much better. CIC uses a thin tube called a catheter to empty your bladder regularly. This should be done several times a day, usually every three to six hours. Ah, here it is. The catheter has two ends. A tip, which is rounded with two small drainage holes, and a wider end called the funnel, which is colored. Uh, guys, we've got company. I hear there's a party in the bladder. The perfect time to remind you that you need to wash your hands with soap and water before you start. Otherwise, germs can get in and cause an infection. Ah, oh, I feel so clean. I hate feeling clean. You'll also need to wash carefully around where your pee comes out. Always remember to wash from front to back, just as the nurse has shown you. To begin, gather all the things you need. You can do CIC in the bathroom, so urine goes from the catheter into the toilet. Or you can use a little bag to collect the urine straight from the catheter. Use the first two fingers of one hand to separate the labia. The labia is the skin that covers the area where your pee comes out. Doing this makes it easy to see the small hole, or meatus, where the catheter needs to go. The hole is at the beginning of your urethra. When you start doing CIC, you might want to use a mirror to help you find the hole. With your other hand, gently slide the rounded tip of the catheter into the hole. After a while, you'll know exactly where to put the catheter and you probably won't need the mirror. Keep sliding the catheter in until urine appears. Can I stop the projection now? When urine stops coming out, withdraw or pull back the catheter a little to see if any more comes. When it stops completely, slowly and gently pull the catheter all the way out. Once it's out, throw it away like the nurse has shown you. Then wash your hands again. Another way of doing CIC involves having an operation where the doctor makes a small hole through your tummy into your bladder. This is called a stoma, through which you catheterize. 
Don't worry, urine shouldn't leak out because your muscles close around the hole when the catheter isn't there. The catheter slides through the hole and into your bladder, where it drains away all the urine. After all the urine has come out, gently take the catheter out and throw it away. Remember to wash your hands, as well as the area around the hole before and after using the catheter. I think we've relieved the issue here. Back to HQ. Back in Medi HQ. <sighs> Finally back to someplace normal. Oh, are space stations where you normally hang out? There are lots of different types of catheters. They come in different lengths and sizes. Some need water or salt solution to make them slippery and really easy to put into the bladder. Others have a gel covering or you need to apply gel before inserting. Your doctor or nurse will tell you which one's best for you. Your doctors and nurses will also show you how to use the catheter and tell you how many times you need to do CIC every day. It doesn't seem as scary or hard after you guys explain it. CIC can seem strange at first, but it shouldn't hurt. It gets easier with practice, and soon it'll only take a few minutes each time. If you have any problems with CIC, talk to your doctor or nurse, especially if it's painful or your urine is cloudy, smelly, or has blood in it, or if you have a fever. You must use CIC just like your doctor or nurse tells you to. If not, you can get infections, which can make you very sick, as well as wet between catheterizing. Doing CIC regularly and washing your hands every time helps keep infections away. Drinking plenty of water helps too. Setting an alarm on your watch, phone, or computer can help you remember to do your CIC regularly. Using a catheter to empty your bladder is just a different way of peeing. It shouldn't stop you from doing the fun things you like to do. Which is exactly what I've been letting it do. Well, no more. I'm not going to let it stop me from going on school trips or vacations or going out with my friends. A girl has to shop. Indeed. Just make sure that wherever you go, you have plenty of catheters with you. Excellent. Now that you understand CIC, I shall send you home. Actually, I've spent enough time alone at home. There's someplace else I want to be. We're so glad you met up with us at the mall and brought friends. Living on another planet, we don't get to shop too often. I have super strength, and even I'm not sure I can carry this many shoes. How are you paying for all of this anyway? Oh, you know, Axon was kind enough to sponsor our shopping. Back on Mediland, on the phone with the credit card company. What? No, of course I didn't spend a thousand dollars at little goody new shoes. Hope she grabbed the clocks I wanted.